If you ever saw the series Breaking Bad, kind of look like where they cook meth in. Hey guys, welcome to another video of Stratico. And we're gonna do a couple walkthroughs of some houses today that we're looking for either fix or flips or sober livings. And so we came across this house right here and I'm gonna read to you the statement that I see whenever I go to access the house. No utilities, please use caution when viewing the listing. We are not responsible for accidents. So I hope I can control myself in there or hopefully the house doesn't just cave in underneath us. We know how that is. So. Come on down, let's go check it out. These are some nice walls. This is Cypress. This is expensive stuff. Kind of smells funky as powerful course as the golf one would say. Um, you know what this way? Let's see. Looks like we got a room back here. Very small room. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 man, I kind of like this. You ever saw the thing that goes underneath the, the, the toilet, uh, what they call that, the, the potty master or something like that? I wonder if this is like a different version where you just step up and you can put your feet and you can help and it can help you push it down. And look at that. Well, you can just walk right, after you finish done, you just step right on into the bath and shower to clean yourself up. Interesting concept. I don't know if I've seen that before. Another bedroom that leads right to the outside. Let's see. Doors open. It's inviting us to go. Whoa! I saw this in the pictures and I'm seeing it now with my own two eyes. This is pretty incredible. We have this luxury pool. So you have a house, bam, with this above ground. It's, not, it's an above ground, but it's not. It looks like it's made out of concrete. Let's, let's, go, let's go see what we got. Man. Scan this pool. I think you could put a diver board back over there. This is something else. There may be an alligator, or a snake, or a rodent. Uh, definitely doesn't look like there's any fish. So, this would have been cool. I don't know when, but it hadn't been used for a long time. It looks like we might be falling right through it, but this is very much concrete. It looked like it was just an above ground pool that we could tear down. This right here is gonna cost some money to get down. So, uh, I don't know. We definitely don't want to use it. Oh, um, you ever saw the series Breaking Bad? Kind of look like where they cook meth in. Pretty odd thing to have in a garage. Not saying that that's what was going down in here. It was, that's a freezer of some sort. This is just a room, so. Looks like more work than anything. It's like the kitchen area. This is actually not terrible at all. Looks like a little bit of paint. Doesn't look like the, the roof is, is leaking or nothing. This is all excellent cabinets look to be in decent shape to just paint. And I really, I really like the brick. No joke. Um, you know, it gives it gives it just a more sturdier feel. Living room, home sweet home. You want to catch what's on the wall? Home sweet home. Do we get to keep these luxury pleather couches? I don't know. We can negotiate. Um, fireplace. Bedroom. We are going up and down. So the person that did this house, it's like, are we on piers right now? Or, or this, it seems like it's concrete, solid foundation. And then the end of the room. So we're gonna wrap this tour up real quick. We got a couple more houses to go. And so continue to tune in. This is another house we're looking at today. Kind of, I really kind of like this one. It's 
very outdated, but that's really all it is. There's little stuff that, um, that needs to get done that I think we can easily do um, without maneuvering anything big. For example, carpet. You, you can't smell, but I can smell. Um, they must have had some animals or something because it's very much heavily uh, freshener, but in the midst of that freshener, there's a, st a stank on it. So, uh, we have this retro kitchen, you know, very old school, but super big. Can house a lot of people, a lot of partying. In fact, before we go to the room, we'll get a quick shot on that. This is very cool for Louisiana. Big yard and in the location that we're in, we're super close to grocery stores, restaurants. I mean, this is pretty phenomenal. I'm surprised nobody uh, has got this house sewed up yet. It's not at a good price. We're gonna have to maneuver it. But through my research, um, it is a succession. And so somebody inherited this house, which means they're just shooting for the highest price, but we're not, we're going to show them, hey, this is reasonably what we're going to try to do with it. And so um, we need it at whatever number we come up with. And uh, that's how we approach it. Hopefully they, 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 they like, uh, they like to get cash back. So let's see what goes down. But that backyard is pretty cool. As we come down the hallway, we'll just see a few bedrooms. Pretty typical. The, the, the major concern when I walked in here was two prong outlets, which tells me, well, older house, we already want to find the panel box. So we'll fast track right to the master, to the panel box. I know there's already a piece of paper, but Federal Pacific, which is, um, is a panel box you have to change because insurance companies uh, don't want to insure houses with this type of uh, panel because they're faulty breakers back in the 80s everybody installed these type of things back in the 70s and 80s but the breakers trip or they don't trip actually when they're overloaded which could be a, which absolutely is a fire hazard which insurance companies say well i don't want to insure so green shower so we just have to paint that sucker up anyway it's a good looking house i like it um, besides electrical and the AC, roof looks good. Uh, yard space is good. It's a great location. So I think we're gonna make an offer on this house. Yeah, for sure. And while we were driving over here, we got a call for a possible rental for another sober living house. So when you focus in on what you're looking for, the world starts bringing it to you. And I think that's what's happening. So we'll see you at the next house. Hey guys, so this one that we just walked through, you'll see some B-roll footage in there. Um, it's the most exciting, it's the highest price, which means we have to negotiate more, but it's the least amount of work that needs to be done. And so we're talking about simply floors, paint, um, door knobs and cabinet knobs and countertops. So it's like 20 grand, maybe $30,000 worth of work, maybe even a little bit less. So. We're gonna drill down hard on this house because the electrical panel's updated, the AC is updated, the roof just really needs to be soft washed. Uh, looks like it's got some life left into it and it's in a great area um, where we're at. So uh, I could see why people are not making offers because the, the price is unfortunately a little high, but man, you walk into this house, there ain't no floors. It needs some work. And so eventually the person who owns this, which is another succession, is gonna come down on the price. Now, whether it's today when we make an offer or a year from now, but it's just one of those houses you put in your loop and you almost make an offer every week. So we're gonna keep you posted. Hopefully we get this one.